All right, guys, here we are um, back with another word. I am so excited to come on here with you guys and really just share what I believe the Lord has placed on my heart to talk about. And so I'm just going to jump right in it because it is past my bedtime. Um, but I know that this is something that the Lord wants me to do. So I'm going to do it. OK, so let's let's get right into it. And so what I want to talk to you guys about, and it's funny because I actually saw another individual doing this video and so I'm like oh that's cool let me I want to do something similar but with like a special spit on it and so the title of today's video is things that I had to give up to follow the Lord to follow Christ and so um so yeah there are several things there's about three or four points that I want to be able to specifically pinpoint for you guys of what my journey with the Lord has looked like over the past few years. Um, as I've, you know, had a relationship with the Lord, there are several, there are so many things that the Lord has told me specifically that I needed to give up in order to fully just surrender and only in order to fully just give my life to him. And so I want to be able to talk with you guys today about that. Um, and so, yeah, we're going to, we're going to keep it raw, honest and open and my prayer is that you guys would be encouraged by it. Amen. Okay, awesome. And so where do I start? <laughs> right? Where do I start? Because there's a lot of things that the past few years that I've had to give up specifically. Um, but I think before I really, you know, jump into this, I want to emphasize that there is our ways, our plan our path, the life that we have imagined for ourselves, but then there's God plan, God's plan and the life that God has for us. And I want to be able to distinguish the two between the two, because these very, you know, where, especially if you're, you know, for most people, for most Christians, for almost everybody, these are two different things, right? There's the plan. There's a life that we have imagine for ourselves and then there's once we become a Christian we submit our lives to the Lord there's a plan that God has for us and so I think that that is really going to be um, first off the the decision that you have to make right whether you're going to live your own life and do what you want to do or if you're really ready to submit fully to the Lord and be obedient to him and and it's only through that obedience and and faith and infidelity to the Lord that you'll truly experience everything that he has for you. And so for me specifically, what are some things that I had to physically give up in order to follow the Lord? And so the first thing I want to talk to you guys about is you named it. It's relationships, right? And I think this is something that almost everybody can relate to in some form or fashion. And so just to be fully transparent, and honest with you guys, there have, you know, there has been individuals or have been guys, right, that I have maybe gone on a date with, I've maybe, um, you know, just hung out with and, you know, or just, you know, just wanted to be in a relationship with them. However, I knew, <laughs> I knew that this was not the person that God has for me. And so, and so I knew that, you know, even though you may be enjoying your time with someone, and even though it's fun, someone's showing you some attention, right? They make you feel good. But at the end of the day, there's just no peace, right? There's no peace in that relationship. There's really no peace with this particular individual. And so I knew that I had to give up this relationship. For the Lord I had to give it up and I had to surrender and submit it to the Lord and you know one thing I do want to emphasize that God's plan is always better than our plan right it may not feel good in the moment right it may not be fun at all however it's always worth it I do want to emphasize that it's always worth it, especially you know for me in particular I know that God has someone who he has hand selected for me specifically to marry. And, and, and that's a big thing for me because I know that I 
am a generational curse breaker. And so I know that the man that I marry, the, the, the person that I call my spouse, the person that becomes my husband, it's a big deal, right? I can't just be hanging out or fooling around with anybody because I know that there's a plan and there's a call on my life. And so I know that when it comes, you know, to the area of relationships, there have been several and it's not just one. There have been several guys who are good. They may be good individuals. They may have a relationship with the Lord. They may, you know, have all these things going for them. But at the end of the day, end of the day if this person is not my husband, they got to go. They got to go. <laughs> Anything that interferes with God's plan for my life, we got to kick them to the curve, right? And so, yeah, so that is the first thing that I, you know, I think that, that that's the first thing I want to talk about because that was probably one of the, um, the hardest things, if I'm being just a little bit honest with you, probably one of the hardest things um, that I had to have give, given up. Right. Because everybody wants to be loved. You, you want your 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 best friend. Right. You want that sense of belonging, that that sense of what that we all desire that. But I think ultimately I had to make that decision that I um, that I want God first, that the that the Lord is first and foremost. He's the number one person in my life. He's the number one man in my life. He is everything that I need and so once I made that decision I was like okay I that really is what gave me the strength and the courage to really just walk get up and walk away from um that those relationships and so that's what I did and we are here today with no regrets right because one thing for me like if I don't have peace like if there's no peace no it won't work out like I would rather have peace and be single than have no peace and be in a relationship (laughs) and maybe that's just me but I think for me even though it it was very difficult in the moment I knew that I want the best that God has for me I knew that I I couldn't hold on to these individuals and so that's what I decided to do I walked away from it and I have no regrets and so the second thing that I want to talk to you guys about that I have things another thing that I had to give up in order to fully submit and fully follow the Lord is time right and I know that that's like woo woo not a huge thing but this is something I do want to emphasize because you know, the Bible says that in Matthew chapter 16, I believe it is, it says that seek first the kingdom of God and his righteousness and all these things will be given to you as well. And so for me, I took I took this scripture at heart, right? When it says seek first the kingdom of God, like I took that literally meaning the first of my day like God deserves the best of my time the best of my day he deserves all of that and so like for me specifically I know that seeking God first means me waking up early in the morning making sure that I have enough time to to spend with him making sure that I am actively seeking him I'm actively drawing near to him right because that's the only way that my relationship with the Lord is going to grow. It's me spending time with him. And so I know that if I'm going to seek the Lord first, that means he gets the best of everything. That means I'm going to have to sacrifice my time, my schedule to make sure that the Lord is seated above everything else. He's he is he is not in my fitting in my calendar. He is the foundation everything else is built on top of that and so yeah and so yeah that's the second thing and then the third thing that I had to give up to fully follow and submit to the Lord is this was this one's tough one but it's family but mostly friends 
for me personally. I know people who've given up family members, um, but the third thing that I really had to give up in order to fully submit and follow the Lord is going to be friends and family. And so, um, in college, whenever I was in, back in college, I knew, and I think it was junior year, but I remember like I had this friend group that I would hang out with and it would be, you know, fine or whatever. Like it was fun, you know, hanging out with them. Um, but I knew that the Lord, you know, didn't want me to hang out with them anymore. I knew that the Lord didn't want me to, um, to really, like, he did, wasn't going to like, cut them off, cut them off, like, completely. But I knew the Lord was wanting me to, do, like, just distance myself from them, right? And so, even though that was really hard, because I'm like, you're in college, you're in school, social life is everything, right? Um, but I knew the Lord was wanting me to distance myself from them and not hang out with them as much. And so as difficult as that was for me, I did it. And I look back on my life, I'm like, well, you know, I'm ha I'm so happy that I was obedient to the Lord. And I did cut them off when I did, because who knows where I may have been, you know, who knows what path that those friendships would have led me down. And I think that that's the most important thing. Anything that intervenes that anything that negatively negatively affects your relationship with the Lord, you got to cut that off. You got to boop, 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 boop. You got to cut it off, right? Anything that gets in between your relationship with the Lord, you got to cut it off. And so that's one thing um, that the Lord has really called me to give up. The Lord has told me to give up, that I needed to give this up in order to fully submit and fully follow it in his footsteps. And so um, this video today, it isn't very long. It's short and sweet one. But to conclude um, and just to wrap up, you know, the message for today is that, you know, we all have a list, right? We all have a list. And most of the time, you really don't need to pray about it that much because most of the time, you know, <laughs> you know already what it is that any what it is that the Lord is calling you to give up how because it intervenes it negatively impacts your relationship with the Lord you know what it is most of the time nine times out of ten you know exactly what it is that you should give up so that because you know that it's holding you back from drawing closer to the Lord and so for many of us like we all have those things in our lives that we know that the Lord is wanting us to cut off or or um, to give up in order to fully submit and follow him. But one thing that I wanted to really just say as I'm wrapping this up is that if you want to follow the Lord, right? If you want to, if you truly desire to know, him, if you truly have a desire to get to know him more, you can't pick and choose what you give up right you can't it just doesn't work like that with the lord it's all or nothing right you either have to give up submit surrender everything or he doesn't want any he doesn't want anything it's all or nothing right god wants your full surrenders we have to die to our old ways right it's not you know because there's a reason that um that whenever we become a christian whenever we get baptized that we become a new person right we become a new person meaning our old ways are cut off we're we're no longer um who we were in the past but we become a new person we're made we're born again right because anyone who is born again in Christ has no tie has no tie to their old life to their old way of living we have to completely shut the door to the old in order to fully follow the Lord 
It's a full commitment. It's a full surrender. Right? You can't just follow God when it's convenient for you. You can't say, oh, well, I want to be a Christian or I, I want to, you know, go to church and I love the Lord. But you're still fornicating, right? You're having sex outside of marriage or you're partying a lot and you're going to the club and you're getting drunk and all these things like it doesn't work like that it's all or nothing it's complete surrender and i think that this is so important to talk about um especially for this generation right because this is the hardest part right this is this is probably the number one reason why people don't come to the lord because they're not willing to give up their old life. They're not willing to give up, you know, what's comfortable. They're not willing to give it up. But the Bible says that we have to crucify our flesh. In Matthew chapter 16, verse 24, it says, Then Jesus said to his disciples, If any of you wants to be my follower, you must give up your own way. And I'm going to end on this. If anyone wants to be my follower, you must give up your own way. Take up your cross and follow me. And when and when the Lord says take up your cross like that, like that's like n that's not fun. Like no one enjoys carrying a weighty thing on their shoulders like no one enjoys carrying a cross right it's not fun it's not fun in the in the moment but the Lord says that if in order to follow him we have to take up our cross we have to crucify our flesh right crucify Crucify is not a fun word. That is violent. A crucifixion is violent. It is painful. It is difficult in the moment. But the Lord has called us as believers, as followers of Jesus Christ, that we have to crucify. We must violently attack our flesh. We can no longer live life on our own terms. But we have to fully submit and fully surrender everything to the Lord. And maybe I'm just preaching to myself right now because it's not always fun. It's not always easy. Being a Christian, it, it, it means persecution. It means being isolated from your friends. It means not doing what you It means not always having fun when everyone else is going out and having fun. It means maybe you're home and you're fasting and you're praying, right? It's not always fun. It's not always popular. In fact, it's unpopular. You may be looked at as weird. You may be, you know, made fun of. Like, the, the list is endless. But if you truly desire to follow the Lord, know that it's going to cost you everything. You know, I started off this this video by saying there's our path and then there's the path that God has for us. Those are two different things. They're two completely different things. But one thing I want to leave you guys off with is that the path that the Lord has for you, it's always better and you will not regret it. You can look, you can search for satisfaction. You can search for love in the things of this world. But it's only going to leave you empty and void. We were never meant to be satisfied by anything outside of the Lord. And so until you are ready to make that commitment, brace yourself. Because this world will leave you cold and empty, lost, confused. It will degrade you. The streets are ghetto. Okay. <laughs> but the Lord's path blissful it's full of light it's full of love it's full of peace and joy and until you're ready to fully cross over you won't experience the best that God has for you and so yeah that is it 
that is it. I, um, I'm just going to wrap up this video now. And I just pray that your faith was stirred. I pray that you are encouraged. I pray that you um, become convicted of your old ways. Become, you know, I pray that the Lord will bring to light any area in your life that you have not fully submitted to the Lord. And I pray that you, that you will lay it down. Lay it down at the altar. Just say, Lord, I give this to you. I am ready to fully submit. I am ready to fully surrender my plans, my goals, my dreams, everything. I'm ready, Father, to submit it and to lay it down at your feet. Because it's only after you pray that prayer that you'll truly find everything that you need. Everything, everything that you need, you will not lack. You will not lack. You will always have more than enough. And so that is my prayer for you guys, that you would be bold today, that you would, that your faith would rise up and that you will take up your cross daily, y'all. And that's the thing. It's a daily thing. Take up your cross daily, sacrifice daily put the lord first daily you won't regret it it will be the best decision you've ever made it was for me and so yeah that is all that i have for you guys today and i and i just pray that the lord spoke to you that word be encouraged be blessed have a fantastic week and i will see you guys next time bye